So if you prefer your fine wine in a pint glass uh, with, a, <laughs> with a taste of ale, then maybe the Forge Fathers are the army for you. So... Ronnie, I know you. <laughs> I know you want to tell us about the, uh, well, the enough, small fellas. The yeah, start, yeah. I mean, the, 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 again, the first pass. What you've got is a very tough, solid, infantry heavy, packing a punch army. Yeah, you're going to have your basic steel warriors with armor piercing one right from the get go. Yeah. So you come close with anything, and we're shooting at you. We're going through. We're going to knock you down. Um, and I think their strategic order. Remind me on this. Uh, this is for the forge star. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> which will Im improve their shooting, basically, um, which they love to do. Yeah. <laughs> they love their hailstorm, their rifles and all to cannons and everything else. Yeah. And, I, and I think that's that bit about like, th they don't have huge ranges of control, but where they are, they boy, oh boy, are they in control. And, and primarily gonna be, they want to shoot you and they don't particularly want to get up close and certainly they don't want to let the player get close. Yeah. And in order to do that, stubborn. Yeah, so they've got the the best nerve in the game. Yeah, you know, so obviously, you know, great at clearing, great at clearing things, and that reflects their, um, you know, from other games, just the headstrong stubbornness yeah. of, of 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 the of the of the race. Um, but yeah, so the best nerve in the game. Um, so great at clearing, pinning. The, the, one of the, the the strategic orders helps them with that anyway. It also means that they're very hard to overwhelm again because yeah. we're looking at nerve tests in, in combat if you lose a combat. So they're not going to lose extra bases because of that. You know, they, they don't they care. They just stand there they and just, they just, keep fighting, they just keep yeah. fighting. Yeah. They just keep fighting. <laughs> they just keep fighting. They keep shooting. And it's kind of like a Zulu moment, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> uh, they're there. Tanks? Uh, they do like their tanks, don't they? <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, there's, there's, there's the classic stern hammer, uh, yeah. of course, and the, um, and the ones that people will know from Firefight, the, the hold to half track, um, the Iron Ancestors and things like that. But, you know, they've, we've, we've sprinkled in a load of new ones as well because yeah. they, they like to make stuff. Yeah. You know, that's what they do. They forge things in their, <laughs> in, in their forge stars. Um, and these, these other things are some quite nice surprises, I think. Yeah, yeah. No, we're unlocking some and that's going to be great fun. And part of this army is leaning into that whole this is where your choice of tanks are and each yeah. one does something slightly different than the others. They're still tanks, but with a bit of flood, fun and flavour. And then just to add that little, the next level of, I think, strategic play to them, because essentially what they're doing is they're occupying space on the battlefield. You know where they are. You have to come and dig them out and yeah. that's going to be hard work for you and they're going to do everything to mess you up. But just, and I think it's very reflective of them, they then got the whole, the drop ship angle the the orbital deployment they are i don't know i'm the best at it aren't they they've mm. got the most choices on that they can come in as infantry yeah so they've got drop drop ships which can drop any any type of infantry really but then they've got their hammer fists guys as well which can yeah. which can do it themselves you know yeah, they, they, they don't need drop ships so they can just come <laughs> straight <laughs> in onto where they want which, which just jump out from orbit yeah. <laughs> yeah. we'll just jump it out of there away we go yeah. Yeah. Uh, which is very cool they've got some some fighters to give them some aerial protection and get yeah. some strafing runs in so that little touch of mobility there and certainly to more help out their chums when they're in trouble. You know, right, there they are. Okay, let's get some some support there. Yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm not going to talk about the heavy this time. I'm not <laughs> going to talk about it because I don't care. You know, I'm never playing for the fun. So, uh, <laughs> and actually, I don't want to say the word. They <laughs> uh, say so the hrung near. Uh, someone likes their, uh, their their Norse words. Uh, the magma destroyer. So yeah. this is this is a, just a massive, massive grinding tank. Um, basically, the magma cannon on it will basically destroy anything yeah. that it points at um and, and it's got the big big shooter in the game isn't it that, that is the cannon oh, yeah. when it goes it's off it's just going to punch yeah. a hole in, in yeah. whatever you can get in line of sight to. um and it's got it's backed up with with auto cannons as well which will again always always fire it's kind of relentless as it rolls on even on a sprint order it will fire those auto cannons in a, a, a infantry or whatever around it um and it's got a ridiculous uh, <laughs> ridiculous amount of armor it's a it's, yeah. it's 10 plus armor so you need to beat that on a on a d8 yeah Mm -hmm. for sure yeah. so you're going to need armor piercing to get through it and then it's still got five up saved so you know it is very very hard to come down it's just slow and and I have had nothing to do with the play <laughs> testing on it you can obviously take that to the bank <laughs> only, only Ronnie would put a 10 plus save on a D8 <laughs> game so there we go you're definitely going to need that armor piercing so certainly from a flavor point of view if you like your heavy armor you like your tanks and you're feeling a bit stubborn maybe the Forge Fathers are for you